Hello, my name is Daniela Paunesco. I'm a PhD student in the Functional Materials Laboratory at ETH Zurich. To understand nanoparticles, we have to be able to count them. But the problem is, nanoparticles are small, extremely small. And we need very expensive instruments, such as electron microscope, to visualize them. So to be able to count nanoparticles, we invent a trick. We load nanoparticles with DNA. These purple balls represent nanoparticles and the DNA inside helps us to count the nanoparticles. For example, here we have a beaker full with balls in solution. We don't know the exact number of balls, but when we divide them into small beakers, we can directly see that some beakers have got a ball and some not. By destroying them, we can release the DNA. The DNA is subsequently detected and from this we can count the beakers with and without DNA to deduce the original number of balls in solution. Here we show how this is done with nanoparticles instead of balls. A solution containing only a few numbers of particles is divided into very small beakers corresponding to wells. This machine can measure if a well contains DNA or not, which is indicated with the blue spots for no DNA and the orange ones for the presence of DNA. In our case, this corresponds if a well contains a particle or not. This allows an indirect counting of individual nanoparticles as easily as counting sheep. We would like to acknowledge the groups of Wendelin Stark and Detlef Günther at ETH Zurich for making this work possible, and the Swiss National Science Foundation as well as the Marie Curie ITN Magnetic Fund for funding.